Welcome back to another episode of The Blueprint, sponsored by Slowburn Brakes. I'm your host, Calvin Custance. On The Blueprint, we interview talented athletes and they share knowledge that they have collected over their time playing their sport. From balancing life and relationships to recruiting and training, there is always something that you can learn. This week's guest is Spencer Shannon, a three-star tight end from Modern Day High School in California. He's the number 14 tight end in the nation and was a member of the 2021 National Champion Team. He is committed to the University of Texas. Welcome to the show, Spencer. So uh, Spencer is a three-star tight end from uh, Mater D High School. Is I yeah, uh, my... yeah. Okay. That is committed to Texas and you're a tight end. So first, I'm going to ask you some questions just about you. Just uh, So first off, what's your favorite food? Uh, favorite food is ooh, burritos, i got to say. Uh, what are some of your favorite hobbies outside of sports? Uh, I like to surf and then just kind of hang out at the beach. Do you, uh, so you live in California. What uh, is your favorite beach to go to? Ooh, I got to say probably, probably T Street. Yeah, I went back, I went to, uh, Muscle Beach and like Venice Beach, like that area with my family, and that was super nice. Sweet. On like a vacation. Awesome. Oh, uh, what's your favorite class at school? Favorite class is uh, calculus. Uh, why is calculus a favorite class? Just you just like gravitate towards math. Yeah, just the math guy. Yeah, that's fair. Do you have a favorite movie? Um. Oof, that's tough. There's so many good ones. Um, I can't name one off the top of my head, honestly. <laughs> Do you have a favorite actor or actress? Uh, yeah, uh, Will Ferrell, for sure. So, uh, then do you have a favorite TV series then, or? Uh, yeah, definitely Friends. Friends? Yeah, that's, that's Friends is a good show. My uh, little brother really loves Friends. Do you have a favorite song or musical artist? Um, yeah, my favorite musical artist is uh, Jack Johnson. And what's your favorite song by him? Um, probably uh, "Banana Pancakes." <laughs> and then uh, I'm actually not familiar with that guy. What genre of music is? Um, uh, he's kind of. It's kind of almost island music, almost. Yeah. Yeah. And have you ever had banana pancakes? Or <laughs> no, never. I actually think I have, which is kind of a weird uh thing, but I think I've had that before. Okay. Because I know blueberry pancakes are a classic, and I know I've had like uh like chocolate and all that, but I've had like strawberry pancakes too. Those actually aren't as bad as like you like you think they'd sound. I have to try them. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite video game? Ooh, probably Call of Duty, I have to say, yeah. No, uh, what's, do you have a specific Call of Duty that is your favorite or just the general franchise? Uh, just the general franchise. Probably Modern Warfare. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Either, either Texas or California. Uh, favorite animal. Favorite animal, um, dogs. Love dogs. Favorite. What's your favorite breed of dog? Oof, Rottweiler. Do you have a uh, any pets? Uh, yeah, we have two dogs, uh, Labradoodles. We used to have a uh, Rottweiler though. Oh, Labs. Labs are so cute. And then, uh, do you have a favorite holiday? And if so, what are some traditions that you guys do on that holiday? Um, favorite holidays, probably Christmas, and, um, we do some stuff, um, uh, some Lithuanian traditions for, uh, my grandma. Oh, that's really cool. So, I already brought up, uh, that you played tight end, so how long have you played football, and specifically tight end? Um, I played football for, this is going to be my fourth year, I started freshman year of high school. And um, tight end specifically, I started sophomore year. What'd you play freshman year? 
freshman year, I played um, O line. Yeah, nice. Tackle. And then, do you still play baseball? Uh, I actually, I just quit this year just to focus on football. All right. And then, uh, how long have you played baseball before that? Like, when did you start that? Um, I started about eight U, ten U. And then, uh, what positions did you play for baseball? Um, I was a pitcher and then first base. And then, uh, you live in California, so I'm mm-hmm. guessing the Rams. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm guessing the Rams are like one of your favorite. Or do you, are you a for Niners fan? Like, what what's your favorite uh, professional team? Favorite professional team is the uh, the Texans. Really, so Texans. I'm actually I was born in Texas, so. Oh, okay. That's cool. When did you move to California? Uh, young, yeah, like two, two or three. Yeah. That's cool. And then, uh, do you have any, do you like, what's your favorite college with the exception of, I'm assuming Texas would be your favorite goes without saying, but before that, what was your favorite? Um, before Texas, um, maybe, then, um, to go out and just dominate the, the DBs and linebackers in the fast game. Are there any specific techniques that you found from those guys that you've implemented in your game? Uh, f- five days a week, and I'll be training outside three, three, four days a week. Um, just working out, um, catching balls on the jugs machine, just doing whatever I can to try to help improve my game. Mm-hmm. What does a normal off-season day look like for you with school, with uh, football, with anything else that you do? Like working with O-line coaches and kind of understanding what the O-line coaches are teaching their guys and kind of just trying to implement that into like the tight end position. Uh, so that, that helped a lot with blocking. I'd say. Who's the uh, either the recruiting coordinator that you uh, reached out to you or tight ends coach at Texas? Um, So... Coach Banks is the tight end coach, and he reached out to me. And then Coach Bamonte is his assistant, and he reaches out to me. Yeah. So is that what happens with all players, the positional coaching? Is that what recruits? Or do you think would – you, would you say the recruiting coordinator does most of the work? Um, I, th- I think the uh, – I think the GAs initially um, find the film – and then it usually gets sent to uh, – it would get sent to, like, the assistant and then to the position coach. And then if the position coach liked it, then he'd show it to the offensive coordinator. And if he liked it, then the offer goes out. I believe that's how it works. Okay. And then uh, do you know what you're going to major in in college and what you have is some long-term goals beyond college? Or... Um, my plan is business, but, um, yeah, we'll see uh, where it takes me and what happens. Mm-hmm. And then do you have some uh, long-term goals for either playing in college or beyond potentially? Um, yeah, I would like to uh, play in college and um, I'd say my goal is to get playing time freshman year and then end up being a starter by sophomore, uh, sophomore year. And then hopefully uh, I, the goal would be to be drafted after my junior year. Mm-hmm. Then do you talk to some of the other Texas recruits and just talk to them either like before you committed or now after try to recruit them to the school? Um, now I talk to them. Um, I talk to them after. Um, we we got like a little group chat going and we kind of text and see who uh who we want to recruit and who we think would be a good fit for the team and and if we we like a kid then we'll we'll hit him up and make sure he knows that. That uh, like we want him at Texas. Oh, that's cool. What's your opinion on uh, Texas moving from the Big Twelve to the SEC? Um, I think it's awesome. Uh, just like might as well play the best competition you can find. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, how big of a factor did NIL play in your recruiting, or what does that look like as the athlete? Um, NIL actually, um, didn't really play any role in my recruiting. I kind of, um, I kind of, 
I wanted to make the decision without like the mm-hmm. the money aspect mm-hmm. playing a role just because like I wanted to pick a place that I felt I would truly be happy at and be in like a good place and feel comfortable and and be in a good headspace for like the school work, the football work and all the all the stuff that comes with college. Yeah. And then what's some advice that you have for high school athletes either trying to get their name out there and recruiting or uh, just athletes trying just to get better for high school? Um, I'd say take no reps off. You got to push hard every single rep. And, and especially if, if you're one of the backup guys, you got to make sure you're, if you're running twos reps against your ones offense, you got to make sure you're pushing hard and, and I'd say, I'd say those twos reps honestly are better than the ones reps because you're going to go against your, your best defense the whole year in practice. And the coaches will watch that film um, and they'll see your development. So don't mm-hmm. think you're. Yeah. And then, so now we're going to look back on your career so far and some goals that you have for this year. So you're, you've a uh, three-year starter. Is that including this year? Or is uh, that... this year is the third year. Okay. And then you guys are the 2021 national champions. Uh, so congratulations on that. Yeah. You've, you go to a highly <laughs> prestigious school in California. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Bryce young was your guys quarterback there. Was it two years ago? Um, yeah. Two years ago. So your sophomore year, you're catching passes from Bryce young. No, no, no. He was there. Uh, my freshman year so three actually my bad oh okay you're good but still uh were you on varsity that year i was actually i was at a different school originally i transferred in sophomore year oh okay what school were you at before i was at um santa margarita okay that's cool but still it's a super prestigious school and the fact that you're a three-year starter there alone is extremely impressive so um what was one memory or one specific game that Every time you think of, you just get super happy and it motivates you. Um, I'd have to say our our CIF championship game um, that put us through to the state final, which ended up being the game for the national championship. Um, it was just like it was great. Um, it was just a great team effort, and the defense played really well. The offense played really well. And I just I had a ball blocking, I had t- ton of fun blocking that game, and just it was just a great game overall. I feel like mm-hmm. that's so fun. So how exactly does that work? So for national, did you play like a team from out of state for the national championship, or was it just ranking base? It was ranking base. So since we were ranked number one, um, and then we won our state championship game, then we stayed number one on the rankings. Okay, that's that's so cool. That's that's really cool though. Uh, so you won your state championship game. What was the team that you played in the state championship? Um, the team we played in the state championship, um, was uh Sarah, I believe. I I'm like drawing a blank. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. You're good. Okay, and then. Uh, have you had any setbacks or roadblocks in your career so far, like injuries or anything like that? Um, I had I had a little shoulder sprain over the summer, um, AC, like a little AC joint sprain. But other than that, I've been good. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. And then this is a question that uh, always trips up my guests. So who is the most talented teammate that you've played with? Okay. There's a lot, but I, I would have to say, oh, <laughs> this, this is really hard. I'd have yeah. to say Relique Brown or uh, David Bailey. Uh, Relique uh, is a running back. He was at uh, USC now. He's just one of the most athletic kids I've ever seen. And then uh, David Bailey, he's a uh, outside linebacker. He's actually at Stanford now. He's just, just a freak athlete and – and super super smart 
and yeah, he's just he's just a beast on the field. And then, who is the most talented player that you've had to play against, or you can name a team if there's a team that's okay. Um, I think I'll go with team. I think the team would be last year. It was Servite, um, just because of how good their team was. But I think most. Most years it, it is Bosco. Bosco is our is like our big game of the year uh, every year, and it's just like the environment there is like it's like top notch and it's it's pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. So uh, is that uh, so? I'm a state fan because I'm I'm from Michigan. But uh, so is Katin Hauser? Was he their quarterback? Because I recognize that name. Um, no, I think it was, um, it's Pierce Brown. Oh, okay. 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 I I think I know what school you're talking about then. So are you guys rivals or is that a, is that a team that's on your schedule every year? Yeah, they're, they're in our league. Uh, we play them every year. Uh, we're rivals. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Okay. That's, that's sweet. And then, uh, which coaches or which coach or coaches have made the biggest impact on your career? Um, I'd I'd have to go with um our O line coach last year. He actually just moved to a college position. Um, he really developed me blocking and really um just really uh helped me in like the long term uh, long term aspect of just this high school journey and. I still use every single tip he's given me. Uh, so. mm-hmm. and definitely Coach Rollinson. Um, he, he's helped me a lot uh, just throughout my uh, high school. Yeah. So this is a fun question. What was your, or what would you say is your welcome to varsity moment? Ooh, welcome to varsity moment. Let's see. Shoot. I'm going to say I didn't – I don't think I really had one. No, no, like, big, like, welcome to varsity moment. It was probably just, um, like, when I transferred, it was, it was like, definitely a step up in competition, I'd say. So it was, like, kind of cool to, like, see, like, the different level. Yeah. yeah. Were you on varsity your freshman year at the other school? Uh, I was not. I was uh, on freshman Okay. And then what motivates you to become a better player and do I keep you going? Because football is a grind, so you have to have some motivation somewhere. So what motivates you? Um, I'd say probably the end goal, which would be making it to the NFL and having a career there. Um, and then just love for the game. I mm-hmm. just love to be out there and the guys always keep it fun and lighthearted and when it's time to lock in and grind, like they flip the switch and makes it re- a really good environment to uh, to kind of push, mm. push. So, what would you say is the best way that you found to like balance school and sports without getting too like stressed out? Um, I'd say try to get as much work done at school before practice, and then. When you when you have that game Friday night, you want to try to knock out your Friday night uh, homework so that you're not stressing. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, what's the hardest thing that you've had to overcome? This could be sports. This could be outside of life. And then, what helped you overcome it? Um, the hardest thing I had to overcome was um. Probably. Uh, getting myself to transfer. Um, I think because um, it was just like definitely like a new environment, and it was, and it was like I was transferring to, I, the the best high school in the country. Yeah. So it was, it's like something like that's kind of trippy to think about, and so I think um, ultimately it was the best decision of my life. I'd say. Mm hmm. So uh, you would know like the similarities and differences between the two high schools. But what's like what makes uh, 
your high school now, like what makes that the best country? Like what's or best school in the country? Um, I'd say it has to be uh the combination of talent, coaching, and then um I'd say our, our strength coach is really good. He really gets the whole team to buy in and and like fight as a brotherhood and have like one bond as like a, a true family. Mm-hmm. Would you say that the practices are different at uh your school now than the school that you were at before? Um yeah, I feel like they're just more they're more competitive and they're uh they're just more competitive and like you're getting reps against all these like uh, future division one athletes so it's like you're constantly getting better every single day in practice instead of maybe like you have to go against um someone who who like isn't as good so it, it's almost like easy so like it wouldn't it wouldn't benefit you as much mm-hmm. that's- all right and that's all i have for you today is there anything that you'd like to add or talk about oh that's perfect Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Sweet. Thank you. I'd like to thank Spencer for coming on to today's show. He is a great athlete and was a great interview, and I hope you learned a thing or two. I have his socials linked in the bio. If you're new here, catch up on all the episodes that you've missed. As always, my name is Calvin Custance, and this is The Blueprint.